G'day guys, how you doing? And welcome to another clear night for Project Orion. Now for those that are just tuning in or haven't really been following any of my, uh, my work, um, to give you a quick rundown, I use the Celestron uh, Rasa 8 um, F2 scope and uh, for me it's been absolutely uh, brilliant at capturing all that light really quickly um, compared to a conventional maybe f4.9 uh, um, scope or something like that uh, attached to the um, the scope of my main imaging camera is the zwo asi 294 mc pro and that's been working uh, flawlessly as well um, for guiding which i don't really generally do that much but because my mount is quite old uh, the guiding isn't probably as good as what it was when i've you know first got it so uh, to help things um, guide I've got a uh, Skywatcher um, Evo Star 50 ED um, scope there with a little ZWO ASI um, mini uh, guide camera there helping that out and all that's run through the uh, ZWO ASI Air which has been absolutely fantastic the fact that I can control everything with my iPad has just been absolutely brilliant now tonight I'm trying to capture another image um, for my Project Orion, but this is probably a, a part of a part of the sky that's not really photographed that much. But hey, I need to capture these panels and uh, to, to join up the whole image. But one of the things that I do enjoy um, about capturing these other parts of the sky that you don't really genuinely see is possibly all the other little hidden gems, or maybe you might see a tiny speck of galaxy, or just anything i mean that's that's the joy of astrophotography it's you you just don't know what's out there and what you're going to capture it's really cool um you might be wondering why i've got my uh little hoodie on uh apart from the um wind just sort of picking up a little bit right now like last time i've got some bats flying around and uh, they've made a couple pretty close close encounters so decided to put the little hoodie on just for a little bit of extra protection just in case because uh well they're bats but uh you know it's clear night clear skies beautiful conditions here i can't help myself i've got to be out here shooting um so with all that being said i'm going to start imaging i've got a lot to capture tonight and hopefully we can add another panel onto project orion so like always i'll talk to you a bit later on in the night Like always, just reporting back uh, throughout the night just before I pack up uh, to let you know how the uh, session went. Um, again, went really well. Um, no issues at all with focus throughout the night. The electronic uh, focus is still working uh, fantastic. Got to be a little bit careful because I'm shooting a time lapse um, just over there. Uh, so I don't want to interrupt it too much. Um, but if you've got any questions about my time lapses, uh, feel free to um, ask and let me know. Uh, but yeah, tonight I've captured, uh, it's about 250 photographs, raising from, um, exposures um, ranging from 60 seconds, 30 seconds, um, 10 seconds and 1 second, because I like to um, use a HDR style of um stacking and you know um editing and processing uh purely because of the um because of how fast an f2 scope captures light you uh, you tend to oversaturate stars really quickly so by shooting faster exposures i'm able to try and maintain some of that um not overexpose um, those star colors and, and get some really nice star colors and then the longer exposures I'm capturing the deeper um, details of the um, of the night sky of, of space all that nice dust and stuff so 
um, by shooting all them, stacking them all individually, then um, bringing them all in together, the HDR style in PixInsight, um, I'm able to create a um, quite a large high dynamic range um, image. And uh, yeah, so there's a lot of work behind the scenes with all these photos and then have to mosaic them and join them all together. But I mean, it's, it's all part of the fun and the challenge of, with, uh, with Astro. So I feel like I'm always learning, you know, and, uh, and yeah, I think I'm just starting to ramble a bit now. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, guys, um, yeah, everything went well. The wind died down a little bit, so it's, uh, it's all pretty good. Um, so I'm just going to uh, start looking at packing up now. But uh, yeah, again, if you've en enjoyed this video, um, guys, feel free to uh, hit that like, shout out, leave a comment. And if you're new um, and this is your first time watching one of my videos, uh, feel free to check out my others. And uh, if you like what you see, hit that subscribe because every subscribe just helps. Um, motivate me even more to uh, try and bring as much content as I can to do with astrophotography and a bit later on the uh, nightscapes. Well, with all that being said, I'm going to call it a night. So until next time, take it easy guys. See ya.